Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I am going to be unboxing the Drive Crate for June of 2023. Now if you're unfamiliar with Drive Crate, it is a monthly Formula One racing subscription box where you get Formula One memorabilia, knickknacks, all that fun stuff in a box each month. Now a lot of y'all know I'm a huge Formula One fan. I have been basically watching Formula One since I was a little baby. Um, and so this subscription has always been really fun for me. So this box is based out of the UK, but you can order it in the US and it is $43.99 a month plus $19.99 shipping. Now the shipping is, um, five to seven days tracking and it gets here super fast. It's obviously international shipping and that's not cheap. And in the box each month, you will get five or more handpicked items, including um, brand new official team merch and things like that. And there's a $70 or more value in each box. So if you're paying like what, like $63, like you're basically supposed to be getting your money back in the US, this is a much pricier subscription. If you're in the UK, I, I don't know the UK pricing, but it's much more reasonable because you're not paying $20 for shipping. Um, but to the US, it is kind of pricey. So I'm hoping at some point there's like a US based <laughs> Formula One subscription box. With that, welcome back to all the sub box lovers out there. Welcome if you're new. My name is Katrina and on this channel, I unbox lots of different subscription boxes, including this Formula One box. So if you like these types of videos, make sure you give this one a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads. And let's dive in. I am so happy that you're here hanging out with me today on 4th of July, nonetheless, <laughs> to unbox this box. I hope you guys are all having a happy, fun, safe 4th of July. Um, I will say, let me just Clear the air here. This is a Great Britain themed drive crate because the this is based for the Britain race, which I feel like it's a really bad day for me to be uploading a, a box about Great Britain on Independence Day. Um, don't read into it. This is just, honestly, this box doesn't get as many views and this is a day when whatever video I put up is not gonna get as many views and that's why it's going up on this day. Um, but I'm still super excited to get inside. Um, because when I'm uploading this, the British Grand Prix hasn't happened yet. It's still happening the week, week after this goes up because it's the Austrian Grand Prix this weekend. So yeah, I'm think I'm sorry. I'm thinking it through. Um, let's dive in. When you open it up, that is what it looks like. So like I said, the theme is Great Britain. The themes do tend to be around the race that you're going to experience that month, though you do also get this subscription in the non race season. So you might just get more general stuff does list everything inside. Let me also say before we dive in that I've canceled this subscription and it's not because I don't like this subscription. It's just that I do pay for this with my own money and I would rather take this $60 a month and get other boxes for my channel. Um, this one is amazing and I do really like it. It's just pretty pricey to get shipped from the US here. So I'll, I, before we like get in, I'm gonna be like super transparent. I do really like this box. And if I own a house with like my a Formula One themed room, which is the goal one day, then this will be great. But like right now, I don't know. I don't know if I need all this stuff, but let's dive in. Now the first thing is fun, we got a hat. And it is a Mercedes hat. I'm assuming this is a George Russell hat since he races for Mercedes and this is the Great Britain or the Grand Prix hat. So this is the official 2023 Mercedes racer cap. Um, this has a unique soft touch material and raised logo. Um, I guess both Lewis and, oh yeah, Lewis is also, wow. How did I forget for like two seconds that Lewis was on the team and is also British? I think it's because I hope that once he retires that maybe we'll have a German driver on the Mercedes team, but hey, it's okay. Um, I will say personally, like I'm a neutral fan, but I am not, haven't been the biggest Mercedes fan in the past like years. Um, that being said, I don't mind having this. I think my boyfriend will probably steal this from me because he also likes, really likes Formula One and I don't wear a lot of hats. Um, it does have like the little adjustable thing like that in the back. It's really soft and nice. Um, so you do tend to get at least one piece of official F1 team merch in each box. The next thing that we get is an art piece. So this is from James M Moy and it's an art print. So let's open this up in the back. Also, as I'm opening it up, I canceled this box, but if y'all really like seeing this box, I'll resubscribe. So like I canceled it before asking, maybe I should have asked first. Um, do you guys still want to see this box on my channel? Because if so, I'll continue to get it. Um, I just, I don't know if this is everybody's cup of tea because it's very specific. Oh, it's like on metal art print. 
Ooh, and we got some Lando Norris there. I'm here for that. Um, I guess this is a photographer that's based near Silverstone. It's printed on premium metal. And yeah, it's Lando Norris and McLaren, which makes sense because he's a British race car driver as well. And I'm a big Lando fan. So I think that's cool. Of course, um, McLaren is not doing that great this season. Oh, is that, is this their golf livery? No. That's not the regular livery, is it? I can't, maybe it is. I'm, I'm think I'm getting confused now. But anyway, um, it's still a really cool art print. The only thing is like, because it's metal, like, I don't know how you like attach this to a, a wall. You know what I mean? Or like how you decorate with it. But still very cool that you get an official piece of artwork. Up next, we've got a lanyard. And I guess this is a track themed lanyard. So you can see it has a bunch of grid boxes on it. So this is an exclusive item that's a perfect accessory for race day or at the office. It's made from durable materials and it features a heavy doodle, do, doodle, duty metal clip. I mean, it is a very heavy duty metal clasp. Like <laughs> she's for real, for real. And then you do have this, which I guess just slots in like so around your neck. Um, but yeah, very cool. I don't really tend to wear lanyards. I feel like maybe if I went to a race and I had a little pass, I might wear a lanyard, but I'm not really a lanyard person. So for me personally, this isn't necessarily something that I'm going to use. I love all the race theme merch in this box, but for me, it's like, I don't know how much I will use all of it, if that makes sense. There always does tend to be a, some sort of a snack and this one is chocolate. Um, we have the Racing Chalks Apex Chocolate bar. So this is created by a motorsports chocolatier racing chocks. Um, it's in the shape of a race track curb. Um, I guess this, these are produced near Silverstone. Um, let's see. I'm, I think I've seen, I saw on their social media that they're actually, it is like the chocolate bar actually has a design. <gasps> oh my gosh. It does. It actually has, oh my gosh, this is, oh my God, this is going to focus. It does actually have the racing curb there. Now I'm not gonna open this bar right now because literally last week I opened the cacao chocolate box on my channel. Was it last week or the week before? And I have like four bars of chocolate that I need to make my way through before I open another one. Um, I'm assuming that this one is a milk chocolate bar. Oh no. <laughs> well, it says it's dark chocolate, but it's 54.5%, which to me is milk chocolate. Um, but still, I think that's a super fun design and I definitely will eat that a nice yummy treat. And then last but not least, we have a little um, front wing air freshener. It says box, 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 time for a front wing change. Um, so yeah, it has a little, this one is an orange scent. Orange, yeah, just this orange. I can't smell anything through the packaging, but honestly, I'm excited to put that in my car. One, because I love the smell of orange, perfect summer scent, and I think it's gonna be really cute to have a little front wing <laughs> of a race car in my actual car, which looks nothing like a race car, but um, I think that's actually very fun. So that is everything in the drive crate for June the, for the Great Brit Britain Grand Prix. I, like I said, I do really like this box. I, I, I actually like this box a lot, just not for the price. For me, like if you're in the UK, if I was paying the $43.99 and not paying for shipping, I would get this consistently. But when you bring it up to 60, it's like, I don't know, I'd just rather go out and buy the team merch that I actually want from the team site. Um, so maybe eventually there'll be an American like like type subscription for Formula One or something like that. If you're in the UK and you're watching this, then I think this is absolutely a great option. Not that it's not if you're in the US, but I feel like you have to really want all the little extras, if that makes sense. Um, so um, I do think it's a good box. I like it. You obviously have to like Formula One and racing to be into it, which is why like I love it so much. I would love it if it was like a gift subscription to me that I didn't have to pay for. That sounds really bad. Um, but you know what I mean? It's like $60 feels like a lot. $40, I'd be like, cool, I can handle that because F1 merch ain't cheap. I've spent a lot of money on F1 merch over the years. I don't usually wear it on the channel, but I have quite a lot of F1 merch. Um, so would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. What do you think of Drive Crate? If you're sad that I'm not going to unbox it anymore, please let me know down below because it won't take much to convince me to get it again because I do really love the box. I just don't know how many of you guys are like into this and that's why I'm like debating whether or not to continue unboxing it. Um, so let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below. I hope that you have a wonderful 4th of July if you celebrate that. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads. And I'll see you in my next video.